Hey guys, it's Cheryl with Magical Melody. <clears throat> and I'm here with my, I think, week 39 or 38 <clears throat> post op VSG update. Whatever it is, it'll be in the description. I'm sorry. I just haven't posted in so long and all that I've lost track exactly uh, which what it is. But anyway, um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on January 5th, 2017 with Dr. William Steely at Tenova Healthcare. My highest weight ever was 250.4, day of surgery 241.4. Last week I was 156.7 and today I am 155.9. Um, honestly, I'm a bit surprised because I did not feel like I was going to get a loss for this week. Um, just let me take a minute to try and explain why. Um, there's a couple of different reasons. Uh, Monday or Tuesday, I realized that the scale jumped all the way from 156.7 where I was last Friday, all the way up to 159.1. And uh, I was very alarmed to find that situation. Um, <laughs> for one thing, this week was Shark Week. And for two, uh, Tuesday, I believe it was, I ate too many, like I ate some Wheat Thins crackers. And Kyle usually buys the fat-free ones or the reduced fat ones. This time, he got the regular ones, and um, I just didn't think about what I was doing before I ate them, you know, and I just got too many of them, but <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I mean, I just got too many calories that day in, in Shark Week, um, plus there were a couple of days this week where I didn't have a bowel movement because I ran out of fiber. Um, I have noticed with myself that Miralax doesn't really help me use the bathroom. Like if I really need it, I can put a cap full or two in my drink and sometimes it'll help me. But Miralax doesn't help me that much. I found that what works for me is Benefiber or Equate's version of Benefiber to put a couple of tablespoons of that in my drink at least twice a day helps me plus also I take probiotics um, probiotics just have always helped me stay regular and so yeah um, I remember back years ago when I lost weight the last time and this was without surgery that um, I still suffered from constipation and the only thing that made any sense to anybody was that I wasn't eating enough to actually be able to have a regular bowel movement. So I found that year back 2011 when I had lost all that weight, well I didn't lose that much weight that year, I only lost 40 pounds, but um, still what we found out was that that year probiotics did actually help relieve some of that constipation that I had suffered from and I found that it still helps today. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, I'm still really surprised that I'm where I'm at at 155.9. I just honestly didn't think I would be this far uh, this soon. I thought it would take me at least until December 31st for me to get here. And these jeans that I have on are size tens. Um, and you know, I guess I couldn't translate in my mind how small I would be at this weight. Um, I mean, I'm happy about it. I mean, I definitely see it in the mirror, you know. But I mean, I'm just really surprised because I just thought it would be a lot longer. I don't know. I just thought it would be a lot harder for me and it hasn't really been that difficult. Um, so 
yeah and unfortunately after I finish this video I'm gonna go back behind me where the pool is and uh, get the storage storage containers that um, have all the pool equipment in them and bring them up so that Cal can come around the back and put them in the van to take them to storage because unfortunately it's gonna rain tomorrow and I don't want the equipment to sit out in the storage containers and for the storage containers to fill up with water um, that just wouldn't be good because it, it could ruin the equipment well it wouldn't ruin the equipment um, actually it would ruin the um, electrical part for it to set all distilled in water like that so I need to make sure that for one thing storage containers don't already have water in them and for two I need to make sure that they get put away in storage and I need to finish with putting the ball in the center of the pool and tying that off and covering the pool because um, like I said unfortunately I think it's gonna rain tomorrow and I don't want the pool to fill back up with rainwater. In fact, today I'm gonna have to put my siphon in there and drain off some of the water because it already has rained, which is why I haven't been out here to actually cover the pool. But besides that, you know, everything else that's going on with my older daughter um, and, and everything like that, I don't really have that much to update you on. Just please continue to send prayers for her and for my family um, because I will just say the situation um, definitely is not good it, it's you know affecting all of us you know but like I said before in my last video I just can't go into a lot of detail here on YouTube but what I will say is that um, Within less than one month, Muriel had been placed into a psychiatric hospital twice. Um, so just, it, it's been really hard for us over the past couple of years to get her mentally stable. She's just been very, very mentally unstable. And honestly, I'm finding that the mental health treatment that we've gotten for her since we've been here has been pretty subpar. Um, so I only have a select few people who watch my YouTube channel um, so I will just put this out here if you follow me on Instagram and you would like to know what's happened um, send me a PM or um, DM on Instagram so that I can give you my contact information so that we can talk in private about it because unfortunately with YouTube, once your videos are publicized, they're publicized. I wish that YouTube had a setup where your YouTube, vi sorry, your YouTube videos that you publish could only be seen by the people who are subscribed to your channel. Kind of like how it is on Facebook where you can control your privacy settings and your posts can either be public or it can only show to your friends or only show to your close friends or family. Um, I wish YouTube had the same thing where you could publish your videos for only the people who are subscribed to your channel because unfortunately, I mean, once you publish a video, it's published and everybody in the world can see your content. You know, so that's why I don't choose to discuss too many private matters on YouTube. Um, you know, because I don't want just anybody to see, you know, what's going on. I mean, when I did my diary of a fat girl, that was about me. And it was stuff that already happened years ago. But this is just way different. It's just a lot more serious of a situation. Um, and why not so yeah um, but you know just to the select few of people that watch my videos and actually comment you know and I'm saying if if you want to talk I'll, I'll talk to you in private but I just can't talk here but anyway um yeah you know I'm gonna end this uh, and everything like that because I just don't feel like that I really have much more to say um, 
and I will either see you guys next week or the week after that I'm thinking that my videos will probably from now on only come every other week um, just because I have a lot going on and I don't want to waste anybody's time with just a bunch of rambling <laughs> so yeah um, until next time uh, have a great day and enjoy your weekend if you're new please subscribe and thank you so much to all my new subscribers and to my old subscribers for your support it means a lot to me and I am aware that I'm over my 100 subscribers so I'm gonna post another video about that 100 subscribers giveaway I am gonna still have a giveaway but mine is gonna be a little bit different than well it's actually gonna be a lot different than what you're probably used to seeing in a giveaway but I'm gonna post a separate video for you on that hopefully today or tomorrow okay have a good weekend and thanks for watching bye